Hello guys, my name is Amit. Welcome to Git Internals Workshop. This workshop is intended for those people who are using Git in their day-to-day -day life. I'm assuming that you must be familiar with these commands like git init, git add or git command. If you're using branches, you might have used git branch and git, git merge as well. If you're using git remote repositories, you must have used a git push and git pull. And sometimes uh, maybe advanced command like git rebase. In the git world, these commands are known as a porcelain commands. Porcelain commands are those commands with which we generally perform our source code management tasks. Now you must be wondering like if you already are using these commands in day-to-day -day life, why to attend this workshop? Now let me tell you the secret. We are not going to focus on these commands. You can learn these commands on your own. These are pretty simple to understand as well. Our focus will be on different things. Our focus will be on the plumbing commands. So what do you mean by plumbing command then? The plumbing commands are those commands which are getting executed internally to perform those operations. For example, when you are committing some code internally, it executes one of these commands to give you a tree like structure like this. Now later we'll understand what do you mean by tree, what do you mean by blob and how they're interlinked together. How the branch really works under the hood or how rebase works under the hood. There are so many secrets Git is keeping from away from you. So we are going to reveal those secrets one by one. So what is our plan then? The plan is like this. We'll start with the Git overview. We'll understand those porcelain commands very quickly and then we'll move our attention to the main important topics like the plumbing commands. Once you understand the plumbing commands, we'll reveal the onion architecture of Git so that you will understand how those layers in the Git architecture will help each other to perform the source code management. Now, what lies inside those layer is called as a Git object. So those Git objects are the basic building part, building blocks of Git. So we'll understand them thoroughly. Now, once you start using Git, you definitely want to move one code from one machine to another machine, which involves the distributed version control. So we'll understand how distributed works in Git part of the world. And finally, we'll see how Git hooks work internally so that you can hook your code and get it executed on different operations, on different Git operations. I hope you will find many of the under the hood scenarios when you use the Git in day to day life. So I'll see you then in the workshop. Thank you very much.